get ready to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And we are underway from the Superdome. <laughs> carry now this is Alvin Kamara they'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down they did a really nice job there defensively they strung the play out didn't give them a cutback lane on each play you have guys what I call our BCR players guys are responsible for the bootleg for the cutback and for the reverse they played that one perfectly and rode him right out of bounds still nine remaining on second down To throw is Winston. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Jameis to throw it. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They're indeed going. It's Winston. Damn it! Target Harris. And he's going to be out of bounds but before he takes it inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. Jameis now on first down. He gets it left side to Johnson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the world. Just keep running the same shit. Second and two. Second down, Camaro. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. Well, you hate that for him. He gets so close on the big run, but has him in excellent position. And I know there's plenty of competitive spirit on the defensive what side. Of the that, but part of me wonders if they would have just preferred him to go ahead and take it into the end zone <laughs> rather than deal with him again on a likely carry on this down. They'll run it with Kamara. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Oh. So young. Go ahead.
First down run there by Mostert, but it won't accomplish much. In fact, officially he'll only get back to the line of scrimmage, second and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and ten. Here's Moster. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. They'll run right side with Moster. First down and a little extra for Moster. And all the way down to the 41 yard line. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back -back five yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. The yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. Wiggles free. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs. He gets eight on that one. Shit. The defenses get to the quarterback that quickly. A lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough <coughs> to get that one time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and forced an incompletion. Lance throwing it for the And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Play action now it's Lance. Rolling to his left. Get this Ooh. down inside the field before he's out of bounds. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Second and goal from the six this time. Brings up second and goal at the six. Six yard line. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. <laughs> Mitchell again. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard and it brings up four. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. The 49ers are going to turn over the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And Gold is able to put it through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher 
and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three. And I think it was a smart move. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. The target that time, Michael Thomas. But it's going to be second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. To throw on second and ten. Winston eluding the pressure right. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Winston now to throw on first down. There again is Thomas. They're going to block. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Winston. Oh, hit as he throws the same fucking play. It's so annoying. Looking to go back to Thomas again, but it'll be second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Jameis again. Looking left side, he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Winston now. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The rush Morgan did its job. It chased him out of the pocket. He was trying to find someone open downfield, but he was hit as he threw it, and it fell incomplete. To throw once more on second and ten. Winston flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Winston. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. He's going to look deep down the field. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Lance now on first down. And he will find his man, Samuel. And the 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First down, San Francisco. On first down, Lance. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brings up second and one. From the 38, Lance. 
It's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This will be a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL and all the A sports. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the from the Superdome. Let's go back to Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. set to get this drive underway and now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter third quarter starts with a run from Mostert first down and a little extra from Mostert the 30 10 touchdown 49ers so that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time, how about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidence for the final total there on Next Gen Stats. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gould now to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may... And a big loss here as he's taken down. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second at a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Winston, he sets to fire deep. And it's knocked away. This man really keeps running away. the same fucking play. You gotta think the sooner That's amazing. They're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game and you look at the back of these kickers? Back. It's interesting, isn't it? it is they're all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this oh. offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination oh, to set in because uh, if they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. A handoff running left is Moster. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 153 yards on the ground for him so far. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now play fake, Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, 43 yards. And the 49ers. Play, baby. Gold with the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. <laughs> Taking it. The, and a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he... Well, that was a good time, man. I gotta say that one.